Hello and welcome to Yan Fu Times. Today we're celebrating my birthday by going to a local restaurant called Digario's. I haven't been there since the pandemic and I'm glad that it's still alive and well. It's an Italian restaurant and I think family owned. We arrived right when it opened so it was empty. You can order their lunch menu during the weekend as well as their dinner menu too. I was eyeing on a specific dish, which was the seafood linguine. I asked for no cheese on top and it came out beautifully. The flowers were edible and very fresh. Very interesting as well. There were all kinds of seafood such as shrimp, clams, mussels, and tiny baby scallops, too crispy and crunchy garlic bread on the side. It was a very filling meal, but it was so good. The pasta was cooked perfectly and the tomato sauce had a slight kick of heat, but faded away quickly. It was a meal that wouldn't make you feel bloated or dense, but refreshing and enjoyable. The portion looked like the same amount as lunch, but the toppings were different, so if you want something a little cheaper, their lunch dishes aren't bad either. Aside from pastas, they also have panini, salads, and pizzas too. They knew it was my birthday, so they kindly gifted me one of their vanilla panna cottas to try. Super kind of them, and the candle was very pretty and fancy too. The vanilla panna cotta was amazing. The vanilla taste and smell were strong and fragrant. It was so smooth and creamy too. It wasn't heavy like some of the other panna cottas I've had in the past. And with the raspberry syrup, it was really nice and a little tart. The cream added extra texture, and overall it was delicious. We're planning to order desserts anyways, so let's order some more. I wanted to try their espresso panna cotta and tiramisu. Wow, both were fantastic as well. The espresso panna cotta was super strong. You need to eat it slowly, otherwise the richness will turn into being more bitter-like. It was just as smooth and creamy though. The tiramisu was very light and had to be eaten quickly, otherwise it would melt. The coffee flavor between the two panna cotta and tiramisu were very different. The tiramisu one was lighter, airier, but the coffee flavor was still present. I couldn't taste much liquor, which is good because I'd rather have the other flavors be more overpowering. <laughs> I was very happy with my meal and desserts. I usually don't order desserts after a meal, but today, you know, was a special day. The staff were friendly and very patient with us too, and I give them five stars because of the service and the quality of the food. Have you tried any of these desserts before? What do you think? Please share, 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 and thank you for watching Yan Food Times.